Hello and welcome back, YouTube. It's great to have you back for our fourth, I believe, installment. Yeah, fourth installment of the Roundabout series. And today we're going to build a level four roundabout. This one can handle quite a bit of traffic. It's going to take probably maybe 15 minutes or so to build and kind of go over maybe another 20 minutes or so. So hopefully uh, you'll, you'll build along with me. As I did this, I'm doing this so that way... Um, you can kind of see it done and replicate it as, as you need to here. So let's go ahead and start building. We're going to start basically building level two. But in this, in this time, we're going to just, like I said, upgrade it up. So I always recommend leaving a little bit more room than the first one. If you're coming like off the highway, we'll say. So maybe like, we'll try it with... Uh, 15 units roughly so we'll do 15 units here let's put like a little mark there so I can kind of see and then we'll do another like 20 unit diameter and then we can blow this up here and like I said if you kind of struggle to build these you can use this little bit of a um, guide here the side roads here make sure you got five and five on each side here and then you know you have a nice perfect circle we're going to do right hand traffic, so I think that's counterclockwise. We can upgrade this if we like to the highway. Three lane is good. Okay, so there's our circle. So level four has a bridge or a tunnel. I tend to build the bridge. Maybe I'm just a little bit more cost conscious. I don't really know. Actually, we want to really leave this as a, yep, this will work. But you can build a tunnel too, if you like. Either one, doesn't really matter. I say you can build do something like this maybe over here we want we need tiles or a place like a landing zone so you can do it like this and then from here we're gonna build a bridge so let's use this concrete bridge so three up you can put it right here basically go to about here That looks right. This is a, looks a little farther, doesn't it? So we can go ahead and delete this now, I believe. Let me go right here. We'll flip it around one more time. And then we can use this as a guide. Throw him here. I think that's about even. Actually, I might try and squeeze this a little tighter. Will it let me? Mm, no, I won't be able to move a road over anymore. So right here is probably even Steven. Right there. Okay, that's our, our bridge. We can kind of bring this down. Let's flip this around. That straight tool's good. And if you want to make it shorter, you can you know, make this steeper. Like just go out as, as much as you need to. Um, if you want it to be a little bit more realistic, I guess you can go a little farther out and kind of give them a little bit more of a um, you know, gradual incline. I think we have enough room. Maybe. We'll see. To do this. Actually, we'll go here. We'll do seven units. So one, two, three. Let's just see how that looks. Mobile this part first. I will do the same on this side. Two, three. I so said you can kind of play around with this part and see what you like. Alright, that's that. So that's going to be our two-lane highway. Get up with this. I 
And then we're going to do another road to connect us all up to the roundabout. So we'll use this one again, it's fine. About one unit away. So you see we're, we're hitting it right there. You got that little dashed piece in the middle. Let's go right here. You can go straight right to the roundabout. If you want to try and get a little fancy and curve it, you could. I'd just be careful because you might start deforming your roundabout. We could try it. It might help a little bit. I mean, we, we, we can we can just we could do this. I wonder if we can do like something like this. Ah, now nah, I'm gonna make it straight. You can try that. Maybe I'll experiment on the next one. So you can do this. That. We want one here. And one here. And of course, we can flip this around. Oh, put the wrong one around. And if you do this as a single lane, you can. I would recommend. So I think we have a little, well, not quite enough room here. Probably should have brought it down just a little bit more. But we'll kind of get, we'll kind of roll with it. You can get the idea. And like I said, you can kind of mess with this and play with this a little bit more. If you sh should do so. We can do a four lane here. Mm, let's see. Can we do this? See if we can get this to work here. That might not be too bad, actually. And you can go ahead and bring the two-lane highway here. We get like two, two, two um, units. Two units. Two units. Oh, I didn't snap to it. There we go. I'm on. I know you're on. That's okay. I don't want to build that piece. Let's try, try it again. Maybe we're too close. That should allow me to build it. Let's do... We'll keep it straight. is coming on. We can do something like this. Alright, that looks pretty good for so far. We'll come back to that in a minute. We could try and fix this a little bit better, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it's a little off, isn't it? It is quite a bit off, actually. Okay, I kind of want to fix this now. I probably could have kept that. So let's do this. I'm a little bit, uh, sometimes a stickler for the details here. build this. Let me build this, please. No. Can I build it from here? No. It's too short of a piece. Can we just do an angled piece here? So I, wanted, I need to land it like right in the middle of that, all that mess. If we just do this.
Well, that's better. Oh, double clicked. That will work. Like I said, you, maybe if we gave instead of 15, maybe 20 units out, we would have a little bit more room to kind of get this a little straighter. So, my fault there. And then we'll go ahead and build uh, the other, other pieces. Let's actually do this end. So we'll do the same thing over here. Everything's on. Oh, I clicked something. Nope, everything's good. Straight road. We'll go down to the two dots. We can bring this up. Something like uh, right there. Oh, and something like here. Of course, I went the opposite direction for both of them. <laughs> okay, we're playing on left-hand traffic too much. You can do something like this. Looks good, and then we can do something like this. Um, where do I want what I want it? Connected to a three lane, six lane road. Oh, why am I not? Why, there we go. I want to be on the straight tool. Get it as straight as we can. Probably extend this just a touch. This needs to be a four lane road. And this could be three. Oh, I didn't use the four lane road to begin with. That's okay. What I actually want to do is have this come in a little bit straighter. Yeah. Something like that. That's good. Let's see if we can get this to be a little straighter here. Uh, let's do this tool. Uh, the angle. Sometimes you just gotta take off the guides and just roll with it. That's pretty good, actually. Perfecto, as they say. What do you want to do here? The reason why I have a four lane and three lane on PC, you don't have to do this because you can use TMP to change these arrows, but see how you get this one arrow that's making like this U-turn here. Um, and the reason why I kind of made this a little bit straighter is to get these straight arrows coming in here. So at least now we have three lanes that are straight and then they'll use all three lanes on this side. And then they don't need the, you don't get any weird arrows on this side. So you only need the three lane road on this side here. If you have the four lane road here, you'll get two arrows going this way and two arrows going this way. So you'll lose a lane here. So if you want three here, four here. And then you can widen it out to four here. And then that way, you know, what will, what will happen is they'll use all three lanes here and here. And then they'll start planning out here to take these two lanes over the bridge and here to take these two lanes here. So that's, that's why I went that route. So I'm going to upgrade these real quick. But we're going to change that in a minute. 
but we'll it's a start. And then here we're just gonna do our usual guy here. This is probably the hardest of all four, five really to build, because you got to do this, these weird junctions here, get them to come together. It gets a little tough. You just need to leave a little bit more space than I did, and you'll be even better off. We went 153 degree, right? 153. 60 degree on this side. Come on, there we go. And then 153 as well. Always do the one and the entering one for or exiting, leaving the roundabout, I should say. First. Come on, 60. I'm on a joystick. Flip this around. And that way we get our nice smooth curve here and here. Smooth, nice smooth line here, as well as getting these two straight arrows that come in here. So I'll use both lanes. Almost done. And, and then you can do something like with this. You could use this. Kind of pick, pick a nice like in the middle node. And hit here if you really want to. You can do once again a little fancy kind of come up here and then come down then come over here if you want to. So there's a couple ways you can kind of do this piece. I'm tended to be a little bit more on the lazy side. So I'll just sometimes just grab it like this and just do that. And that's what we're gonna do. What I'm gonna do. You can bring it a little bit closer here. Maybe to give them a little more time to merge. Which is what I'll do on this one. See how it looks. And probably you can do the same thing here. Just grab it here. And then you can convert this to um, single lane highway. You know the ramp. There he goes that. That is that. And we go that there. And then we can convert this to this as well. Get our lane mathematics. And then we'll kind of take a look and I'll show you what's going on here. And we're then go ahead and make this a six lane. That is going to be level four. This thing will handle quite a bit of traffic. It will handle a whole entire tile of high density commercial. So if we built all this high density commercial with some arterial, you know, collector, those kind of roads, we would be fine. It will handle a whole entire tile of high density commercial as well as a whole second tile of high density residential, provided we probably have a second access point. So if we had this tile ahead of us and we built a high density, you know, I would say high density residential on that like piece peninsula sticking out. Maybe even if we didn't even have the highway on the right, but maybe part of our other town was along this other shoreline here. And we brought a, like a bridge, four lane or six lane bridge across that. That would be enough. And of course, a little bit of mass transit, some trains and, that and all that stuff. So this will handle quite a bit. So what are they doing? They're coming in here. You know, we got four lanes to two. Right, and then two lanes are kind of carrying through, and two lanes are carrying through here, and then of course we go. This is the lane mathematics part, right? Four in, four out. Two in, two out. So we're going four, two and two, two, one and one. Then you get these dedicated turn arrows, dedicated straight. So this will cause the traffic. You know, traffic once again will want to. Use both of these two lanes. The folks that want to get into the roundabout will want to be in this, this lane here. I know that's going to zip right through and get on the roundabout itself. Folks that want to make the, the quick right, they'll just go ahead and, and be in this lane. They'll just shoot across here. Oh, we got traffic lights on. Don't need traffic lights. You can if you want, but I never use them. So. And of course, they kind of merge up here and they all will funnel into the, the three lanes and go about their business. And same thing here. Uh, one the people that want to take the kind of shortcut so to speak to get to here will hang out in this rightmost lane and those that want to enter the roundabout will you know, be in these two lanes here what this does so of course we've gone through four four <laughs> four levels of roundabouts so far the first one 
butted up right against, right? So we'll, we'll review them real quick. The, the first one was a circle with four roads just butt up right against, 90 degree angle. It's the simplest one, handles the least amount of traffic. It's good for light areas, light density areas. And uh, the, the fun, kind of flaw with it or the limitation is the fact that the car has got to make a right hand turn or we'll say a 90 degree turn. Could be left hand turn if it's left hand traffic. But a 90 degree turn, slow down to make the turn to get into the roundabout and then slow down again to exit the roundabout. And of course, if you yell out a lot of traffic, they're going to start backing up because they're waiting for people to make these turns. Then we said, okay, at level two, we introduced the angled roads. So now we kind of eliminated the problem, so to speak, of the level one, and these folks can just zip in and zip out pretty easily, probably at maintained full speed or very, very little reduction in speed to make this, these entering and exiting turns. Then we said, okay, let's boost this thing up a little bit more. We made a level three. And we added the slip lanes around and said, okay, now people that want to say go from one side to the other over here, they don't have to use the roundabout at all. They can just take the slip lane. And now we can now handle more traffic in the roundabout because we're splitting up the traffic even more. Four, we even split the traffic up even more. So now we have this bridge, or like I said, you could do a tunnel. If you like tunnels, go for it and bring a tunnel underneath and bring it up. And now the folks that want to go from here, so say the highway and maybe you're to your next tile, do some stuff over here, high density commercial, residential, whatever it may be, theme park. They can just avoid the roundabout altogether. So they'll just go right over top and they'll merge in here with the folks that are kind of coming off the roundabout. The pro people doing the slip laning and, and the people using the roundabout here will merge in here. So now we're, we're creating multiple merging points. So they don't have to all merge and say in the roundabout at the one turn, we got, you know, one, two merging points and they're outside of the roundabout so folks in the roundabout don't even see that so folks that want to say come from here to here avoid the roundabout and they take the slip lane most of the time we'll say and then these folks here go across they avoid the roundabout they mix up here folks that say maybe want to come from here i want to go this way they use the roundabout and they come down through this lane and mix up and go. So we kind of have split up the traffic in three different ways. Like I said, it will handle pretty good amount of traffic. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, things to be conscious of is the bridge and the road. So just like level three, when you're introducing these like slip lanes and now we've introduced like almost like a shortcut right across, you gotta be mindful of the um, road speed because, you know, I keep saying this, Sims will take the shortest, fastest route to their destination. If the routes are pretty close, the speed is the main factor. Like here, you know, this route here is pretty close to this route here. You know, leaving here, going here, and coming into here is close. I mean, it's not exact, but very close to the same distance as going, leaving here, and it's going here, right? Or going from here through here to here is pretty close to the same distance as just taking the bridge, right? Or even not as close, but close to the distance to here, to here. So we're here, in this case, we have three parallel paths, somewhat. And the, like the cars, like water or electricity, will take the path of least resistance. And the path of least resistance, in this case, is not the diameter of pipe or the resistivity of the circuit is the speed of the road. So if you do something like this, this could be bad. Make this bridge, make this, you know, a like a road like this that goes across. And now that's a, what, 50 mile an hour road? But then everything underneath is the highway road. And maybe this is, you did something like this because you like the look. Right, and you may insert a 40 mile an hour road here, and a 50 mile an hour road, and a 100 mile, mile an hour road, mile an hour, <laughs> kilometer road, whatever unit you wanna use, road, what will happen is they'll just take this, and they'll go through here and just do this. They'll come all through here. They'll be like, how come no one's using my pretty bridge? It's because it's too slow, no? <laughs> so why would they use it? <laughs> they take the fastest route. They'll they won't use this. They'll come through here, 
and then through here as if you built basically a regular old roundabout. Opposite can be true. I've seen both and I've done both. <laughs> so, and that's how I kind of like, know. <laughs> I've made all the mistakes as well. Opposite can be true if for whatever reason you use maybe the six lane one way road in here. You know, all the way through. Or if, like, you upgraded this, but you for you had the two-lane road for whatever reason. Because you like the two-lane road with trees. And you did something like this. Not that, but this. <laughs> nice PlayStation. I'm going to put that back. And you did something like that, we'll say. No one will use the roundabout, because it's too slow. So what will happen is they'll drive on the bridge... They'll come around and they might even make U-turns and come through here. You'll see people actually making U-turns. Or they'll go and they'll do the slip lanes. And no one will drive into here. So just be conscious of the roads that you're using and the speeds. And just watch it. You know, sit back, have a sandwich, drink a beer, whatever. After you build it, let it run for a few minutes. Go tinker with something else. Plant some trees. Come back with your beer. Sandwich and just kind of watch and see what these guys knuckleheads are doing and if they're doing crazy things like not using this Or they're not using this Or they're not using this look at your road speeds and say okay What can I do to kind of force them to do so? You know if everyone's using say the slip lane You can insert I kind of went through this before but if you clicked on this video and you didn't watch the other ones Repeat it here. You can do something like this and insert like you know slow piece here slow piece here We'll say yeah. I mean, if you put this slow piece here, it'll force them to not use this as often because now it's like fast and slow piece. So you've kind of altered the total, maybe average speed of the segment. So they'll want to go and use this. So if they're using this and they're not going through here, maybe do that. If they're, you know, not using this road, so maybe they're using the bridge or doing some goofy thing here. You can insert this piece and this will be slow. So it'll force them to, I guess, use something else. Use maybe this route here. So if you had, say, the six lane or the four lane road up here, inserting this, I would say has a pretty good chance of making them use the, the roundabout and not just using, um, or using the bridge. I'm sorry, using the bridge. So if you didn't use the highway road, maybe you don't have it available because you don't have that mass transit DLC. But you have a six lane road or four lane road. Or I'm not sure what roads come with um, the base game anymore. We could look. But this might cause them to now use the bridge instead of not using the bridge and just using the highway only. Does that make sense? So experiment, try it. And it also pr preserves your lane mathematics. Right? So that's good. Anything else with this? I think that's it. You can decorate it. You can make it all pretty. You can, like I say, give a little bit more room if you want to, you know, make this a little smoother. You can do stuff like that. You can mess with the where you make these connections if you want. And um, I think that's yeah. Like I said, I think that's it. This is level four. Like I said, it'll handle quite a bit of traffic. And then the next episode, we'll do level five if we want to call it that, or we'll call it Highway Interchange. Which is going to be actually very similar to this. But we'll make it a separate video. So thank you YouTube for joining. I hope this helps you, you know, build really nice uh, ways to get on and off the highway. Uh, nice, fast, efficient ways. Easy ways. And um, leave a like, leave a comment if you if you choose so. And also I'm on Twitch at Build Cities. This is the same name as the YouTube channel, except one word. So you can see me live. Well, thank you. Have a great day. And as always, happy building.